everybody so in video 1771 and 1772 we built what i called the strange engine it was a strange engine because it has no moving parts and somebody said to me the diaphragm's moving it's got a moving part and i thought well okay there you go there's a hair let's split that sure you knew what i meant it's amazing how you can build such a simple engine that will do something like that because it's made out of three tin cans it's a, a heat engine okay basically a sterling engine actually um, Stirling engines work better on heat difference and of course we made it from three steel cans so the heat is going to be transferred through the steel. It occurred to me, okay, why not take out that middle can and put a ceramic in there? And I've got a cup. If we put a ceramic in there, we've got a heat block. So now the heat can only be transferred in the gas, it can't be transferred by the steel. That should make it much more efficient. Okay, how do we go about doing that? Well. First thing, take your cup and drill a lot of holes in the bottom. So here's my three parts. An empty can with absolutely nothing done to it. And nil, nada, niente, nulla, zip, nothing. It's just an empty can. Then we've got our cup and you'll notice cunningly a lot of holes drilled in the bottom with a tile drill bit. I think they're about three or four millimetres, something like that. That goes on there. I just put some electrical tape around that, like that, just to hold the thing together because we're not talking massive temperatures, so the electrical tape's going to be absolutely fine. Bit of electrical tape to hold that together. And then fill the cup with this stuff. This is two to four millimetre gravel I got from a um, pet store meant for aquariums. I don't think there's anything special about it. Uh, you can use rice, you can use glass beads, you use anything as long as it's round about two to three uh, millimetres in diameter. Fill your cup, and here's the final bit. The final bit is just a straight through can, hole in the bottom, bit of rubber on the top, stick that on there. Now in the original video, you had to put a little hole in here to equalize pressure. I found with this ceramic, you don't need that hole. So let's put some gravel in here, take that together, and then we'll run it, and I'm excited to run it. Okay, so there it is put together, and again, no moving parts except the diaphragm and anybody who wants to point that out to me needs to get themselves a life but there we go it is an amazing engine this should work more efficiently it should be easier to get going now we had a great deal of trouble getting the original engine going on tea lights eventually we had to stack up a lot of tea lights and we got it barely barely moving so to give an example of that well let's try it on a tea light there you go Somebody said to me, doesn't matter how you focus on it, I can only see a blur. And that's because it's moving so quickly. Now we barely got that moving when it was three cans, but now we put the ceramic in between on a tea light, we've got that thing actually performing very much better. That's moving a whole nut distance. It was barely moving on the other one. That's amazing. Another awesome question I was asked was, okay, do you need the water? And the answer is yes. I ran it dry and nothing happened and then they said okay well if you need some kind of fluid what about one that boils at a lower temperature so I've got here some methanol it boils at 64.7 degrees centigrade so theory it should boil at a much lower temperature and we should be able to get the engine to move so I'm going to fill this with about eight milliliters I mean eight milliliters you spit more than that so I'm going to fill it with eight milliliters of methanol and we're going to try and heat it now because Methanol is methanol and it's, it's flammable. So another thought occurred to me. If that's going to be the case, we should be able to get this to run from the uh, some hot water. The kind of water you'd make your tea from. So 60, 70 degrees centigrade, something like that. So let's go and boil the kettle, put some methanol in there, see what happens. <laughs> it's actually running. Look, it's shaking the water and you can see it buzzing up and down. So I can put my finger in that water. So the water's probably about 60 degrees centigrade. The ambient here is 10 degrees. So we've got it doing this from a 50 degree difference in temperature. That's moving ah, about twice the distance of the nut. <laughs> Wowzers! <laughs> so two awesome improvements. One, stick some ceramic in there to improve the efficiency. Two, use a lower point, boiling point liquid so it'll work at lower temperatures. But remember, it works off temperature difference so we'll work at a lower temperature but if the temperature difference isn't high you won't get more power out of it anyway 
The obvious thing to do with this is to turn it into a linear generator, and that's a magnet on there, a coil and charger phone. I've got some magnets arriving, so I will be making a linear generator out of it and use it to charge a phone. But my plan is to stick this on a heater so we can charge our phone from our heat. Now, efficiency of this is not going to be more than 37% because it's a Carnot engine, but efficiency of Peltier devices around about 3 to 5%. They're rubbish. You can get higher efficiencies, but you're going to pay through the nose. Peltiers don't last above a couple of hundred degrees centigrade. They're just going to melt unless, again, you get the extra super duper ones, and they're, again, really stupidly expensive. So I think this compares more than favourably with a Peltier device, particularly when you may think it's made out of trash, <laughs> which is awesome. So we'll get this into a generator form, we'll do a video on that, but I wanted to show you those improvements on the strange engine. And people who are experimenting with this, if you put a ceramic in there, you don't need to do anything with the pressure, no little holes and no piddling around with it. It'll actually just self-start. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to like and subscribe.